you think that going forward these kind of technologies is something that you would recommend people to have it at home at least those people who are prone to a heart problem or a cardiac problem or are already heart patients do you think that this could be something that they could keep at home and would help them save life no it is nothing it is a it is uploaded on I mean, you can tell your smartphone you have to download it you don't have this everything right. is that so what we found we thought that once everything will be open it will be it will disappear no if you look at my today's practice even things are all open my 5 to 7% of my patient are still on this of delhi population right what to speak about outside country states are okay they are already on on this say one of the greatest advantage has been for elderly population because those people they are unable to travel to your clinic and then they have to wait for their children to go to till weekend when they get a holiday and they bring the parents to your clinic and then going back again after showing you waiting in the clinic for some time so that and then secondly any time of the day you can mutually fix up the time right night 9:30 or i am in the car i can fix up the time while my traveling time i see three patients on my traveling also going back to my home so that those things have been a great advantage if you ask me during covid time the best control of blood pressure i saw right because the patient sitting at home and not only best best control of blood pressure but we picked up many undiagnosed hypertensive population because those instruments were meant for the parents and when they checked in the other family member they never used to do but sitting at home in the covid time they did it and they right. found they are having hypertension as dr clear said there most of them are having no symptom but they picked up and we found from um, there are many many families they turned out to be lot of hypertensive population whom we manage by only by the uh, through the my follow up technology which we used Correct. giving them drugs through that giving them prescription checking it three to four times a day a good record which which we use in office bp we checked only once a day or maybe yeah, twice a day actually you know uh, but covid has done many good things also uh, covid has um, to me i think covid was a blessing because it taught me many things and uh, covid also told us that uh, every human being same whether it is riksha bala or amit shah or anybody the covid didn't bother about anybody i respect covid that way <laughs> <laughs> the second thing uh, the second thing which covid has done is that we it has accelerated the pace of telemedicine markedly the thing which we we may not have achieved in next 10 years we have achieved in one or two years see he is talking about delhi patients i am telling you that so many patients my patients from dhaka chitagong cox bazar afghanistan they took video consultations i mean you imagine how much money time they save is amazing and let me tell you another fact in medicine that if the doctor and the data is sent properly and the doctor interprets it properly more than 90 95 percent patient don't have to come to delhi you can treat them there only 5 to 8 or 10 percent patient they need more investigation we are happy to call so you can treat 90 patient sitting in delhi even if somebody sitting in um, lay or somebody india i think india has the greatest potential of telemedicine it will save money and not only that you know if a person sitting in ladakh he can have a consultation with dr sani or dr swachandra i mean he is getting one of the best doctor in the country to take his opinion sitting in ladakh what else you want it also uniformizes the capability of the country to expert giving advice to very small places so i, I think we need to uh, work more the government needs to work more on telemedicine uh, of course there has to be little bit more legalization number 1 number 2 the transmission clarity we need to improve on that issue sometimes you know patient is talking then it gets interrupted the you lose the wifi those things need to be corrected but otherwise it's a fantastic tool no doubt so right that's the only thing sir whatever you are telling that's the connectivity is a problem many a times right sir uh, you are talking of 5 minutes and then suddenly it gets off right. then again we are in problem because you have to wait for some time and then Well, so very that's a, yeah, very irritating <laughs> too. <laughs> no, I think uh, te- uh, when we look at technology, I think telecommunications has a very important role in uh, the healthcare now. And Everything, you know, I, I, I tell you, you know, <clears throat> during COVID, I have a my own student. He is in Milwaukee, so his daughter was in Milwaukee, and uh, they had to marry arrangement. 
has to be done marriage has to be done it was covered and the pandits had uh, told those days you know these pandits are so very clever <laughs> so what they did was uh, that the engagement and marriage was done on on uh, you know on the on Online. the e e method so they got both got married so i don't know where the technology is going so maybe i am looking for a day when honeymoon will be also on <laughs> बॉम्बेटी <laughs> 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 Traveling there, staying there, giving a talk, and who two and two fifty people are sitting there, and again I come a whole day I will waste everything right. whatever. And that time during COVID with these virtual meetings and all that, you can imagine how many how much benefit it gave to the medical education, and which is which is now going to stay. I mean, the, Absolutely. Uh, uh, Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. 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 Absolut